Well, technology can get pretty weird, and today we're having a look at the weirdest. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to the top five worst smartphones ever made. First up is the Essential Gem, and let me tell you, the Essential Gem was one heck of a miss. The Gem took the candy bar form a little too seriously. I mean, the phone was so tall, the keyboard couldn't fit properly on it, and they had to put it sideways. Maps was great, you could see one whole street at a time, and there was plenty of room on Instagram for the text. Some apps like Spotify even worked sideways, well that makes sense, and the camera was very wide angle. It came in a smooth glossy finish for easy insertion. You could talk to it like it was a fancy voice recorder and do things like take notes, set reminders and give Google Assistant a blowjob. Unfortunately, like the dick it resembled, both Jim and its creator Andy got cancelled and customers never got their hands on them. Though I'm sure Andy would have loved to get his hands on the customers. Next in wacky form factors, we have the Palm phone. Now this phone had everything going for it, as it was an old retired brand and was even backed by a basketball player. And just like Will I Am's partnership with Blackberry, this was sure to be a success. Marketed as more of a hand dongle or an iPhone mini, 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 there wasn't really a clear need in the market for the phone, as it seemed more like an expensive second phone for people's expensive first phone. In fact, you had to pay Verizon $10 a month just to connect it to your main phone's number, or else the thing wouldn't work. You know what else didn't work? That business model. Now, while the Palm phone could fit in anyone's pocket, the next phone was never actually taken out of the guy's pocket. Introducing the Humane phone, which was shown off a few months ago at TED. Now, while most phones show information on a screen in your hand, this one shows information on a very sh projector in your hand. Sorry. And if you don't line up your hand properly, it'll beam your latest sex message directly into your uncle's eyes, killing him instantly. Now, while the presenter talked about technology disappearing into the background, it seemed unlikely with this phone, as the main form of interfacing with it is through voice commands and voice replies. Which is great for the person sitting next to you on the bus. Hmm, seems more like an inhumane phone. For a bit more fun, we now have the PlayStation phone, or more accurately called Sony Xperia Play. Well, that sounds much more good. With all the appeal of the Nokia N-Gage, the Xperia Play had the style of a handheld console with a few cheapening cutbacks, like the most plastic of plastic backs. And instead of stick controls, you got two flat circles, just like my nipples, that I'll spare you from showing on camera. But really, maybe the saddest thing about this phone is what it showed mobile gaming could have been, compared to, well, what it's become. And for that, I'm Sony Xperia Sad. Our final smartphone is one you might not expect. It's the world's first folding smartphone. Of course, I'm talking about the FlexPie. With the first stretch of its squeaky hinge, the FlexPie amazed as much as it confused. Since rather than folding up like a Samsung phone to protect the vulnerable screen, instead, the FlexPie folded outwards. So the screen was always out there to be scratched. And boy, talk about a thigh gap. It hardly fit in this actor's pocket. And that was part of their promotional material. And if all that wasn't crazy enough, it also had a roll-up keyboard, which I don't know ever actually existed. And those are some of the craziest smartphones ever. Which ones did I miss? Let me know in the comments below. And stay funky, everyone. Subscribe today. Thanks for watching everyone, subscribe for more fun videos, and I'll just let you know that Stephen Curry is now endorsing the Vivo, which is certain to send Vivo to the top of everyone's minds. Vivo everyone, awesome. That's the charm of the Vivo V9.